What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is August 11th of 2017. So as you all know if you watch my channel you probably understand that I love getting feedback in the comments below on what coin or token I should cover next on my channel. And there have been a lot of either ICOs or coins coming to market in the cryptocurrency sphere. So I'm trying to cover as many as I can, but only the ones that I really see potential in. And then also where I can give some feedback as well to hopefully see if they can improve and actually deliver on their promises. So that being said, today we are covering no other than Particle. Now you might have noticed Particle if you trade on Bittrex. Uh, it's up 33% over the past 24 hours and has proven to be one of the best uh, or highest returns for the day. Um, as the volume starts pouring in on this one, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what's it about? What's its purpose? And uh, is this really worth something? So. We'll talk about its philosophy, its target market. We'll talk about the team, the tech, etc. But first, as always, everyone, we have to look at the numbers. So we can see here we're sitting at around a $61 million market cap, uh, really tethering on the highs of the ICO. This looks like we could honestly be getting a breakout here above these. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely considering a swing on this, which I'll mention a little bit more as we look at the price action. Um, as for now, though, it's only traded on Bittrex. The volume is hanging in there pretty good compared to its market cap. We can see the uh, circulating supply is close to its total supply. However, uh, we'll learn more about how that total supply is going to increase. There is a decent amount of inflation with it. However, it's, it slows down over time, so it's nothing to really worry about in the long term so long as this platform gets adopted. Alrighty, so... What is Particle all about? Well, we've talked a lot on this channel about all kinds of decentralized private exchanges. You know, we've talked about SafeX, uh, we've talked about other privacy coins like Verge, um, and I think there's a few people who are a pretty decent amount of teams and uh, you know cryptocurrencies that are going towards this space of a decentralized private platform for market exchanges, whether it be business to business, business to consumer, uh, or peer to peer. You and I trading. Uh, different goods and services, maybe like we have our own small businesses, etc. But it's completely open source, person to person, and business to business, e business to uh, person e commerce. So I think this is really cool. Uh, this whole kind of concept of decentralized marketplace is really, honestly, what I've waited to see in cryptocurrencies for quite some time. I think there's an absolute market for it. It just depends as to whether or not this coin is going to be the winner in that space and uh, whether or not they can really deliver on their promises. So first off, they've got a beautiful website here. It looks like your average kind of startup website. And they've got a great video showing you kind of the general nature of Particle. I love the, the marketing and the branding behind it. It looks very, uh, just like I said, very startup-esque. And it seems like something that uh, someone wouldn't be afraid to tr try to pick up and try to adopt. So. That being said, let's go ahead and look at the about page here as we scroll down. And it says Particle is about pri uh, is a privacy platform uh, by design. So right from the get-go, they focus on high levels of encryption. Uh, they make sure that the only people who will see your transactions are people either who you deem should be able to see them or the two parties who are transacting. So this is not something that will be put out on a public ledger. Uh, it, it's private and encrypted, so no one can, you know, it's, it's all like it's a privacy based and no one can track what your purchases are or who you're doing business with. So it's an interesting concept in the fact that they're applying this kind of uh, sense of privacy and cryptography really kind of interests me. It's the same thing as safe exchange where you can make ex uh, exchanges anonymous. Um, so uh, I really like this, uh, this concept of a decentralized marketplace and this is really cool as well. There's end-to-end -end encrypted chat. Now there's been a lot of mess, uh, message apps coming out recently that use encryption that we just really don't know about. Uh, for example, I can tell you there's some apps like Telegram that do that. Um, I know that uh, WhatsApp, as much as Facebook owns it, uh, there is encryption aspects to it that give a sense of privacy. And that's really cool to see that Particle is coming with a message, uh, encrypt, or an encrypted message chat. And the reason why that's important is, you know, when you're going out to make exchanges, I think that's an important factor to be able to have a platform that if you're really focused on privacy in your exchange, you can exchange privately in the sense of messaging and communicating with the other party in the exchange. So I think that's awesome that that's already built in and that they're working to make sure that that's functional alongside the platform of exchange for Particle. Now here's a really cool thing about uh, Particle. It is a proof of stake uh, coin. And because of that, you can not only you can buy, you can sell, but so long as you hold a Particle, you will actually earn it over time. 
and uh, it's it's really awesome comparative to traditional e-commerce where if you just uh, you know if you just go on the platform and use it you don't benefit from utilizing the platform whereas you use uh, uh, parts which are the coins uh, for particle you can actually generate uh, cash flow or uh, generate consistent income from the parts that you'll get from holding your current supply so it's proof of stake generally I think most of you get that uh, that concept and they talk a little bit about it here more now here's the thing about how the proof of stake works and how the inflation goes because uh, we were talking about the numbers earlier and how you know what, what, is, there, is there a max supply and as of now uh, their current system is not built to have a max supply however I do like the fact that their inflation rate becomes relatively low so the first year is going to have about a 5% increase in the supply. So nothing crazy for the first year as this continues, if it continues to be adopted, it's nothing to worry about for your gains. And then it drops 1% each year for the next four years until it levels out at 2%. So 2% inflation, uh, nothing far off from what we've got normally with fiat currency. So uh, this definitely seems like it's nothing ridiculous. It uh, doesn't seem like they're printing it out of thin air. And the thing is, it's based off of proof of stake. So, so long as you're holding the coins or generally kind of using particle uh, or parts, uh, part coins, you should be fine. Um, so I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, benefit to using part tokens and really getting, uh, getting into this uh, market early on before it starts becoming mainstream. The real question is, and you can look into a few extra things they have on their website. They've got some wonderful interface here. Uh, with uh, kind of the concepts of how the, the platform is going to work and how it's going to look. Um, that all being said, guys, there's uh, a decent amount of competition in this space, and it really depends if they're going to be able to deliver on it. So that being said, it's probably good, do, good, uh, good to go ahead and look at the team and uh, see if we got some good players here. And it seems that they've got a wonderful list of developers, and look at the amount of profiles they have for each of them. They got their own, <laughs> their own Reddit, Twitter, LinkedIn, GitHub. I mean, you've got like Tons of information if you really want to dig into these teams. Uh, but I was I wanted to primarily look at Reno, I think that's how you pronounce his name, who is the lead core developer. And I was looking through his LinkedIn and he's got a, a pretty good amount of uh, stuff on his resume. He was the owner of Lunatech, which is a company based in South Africa. Um, and they do all kinds of, I have a, a link here, they have all kinds of services such as system integration, publishing solutions. So he, he pretty much... Uh, He's worked as the owner of that company for almost four years now, which is quite impressive. And then the second thing that really stood out to me was he was the lead developer at the Shadow Project, which is uh, technically known as Umbra, but basically it's a whole privacy platform about using the internet in the sense of privacy, security, etc. So I think that he's got experience working in the space of privacy and encryption. So. He's got the experience behind him, and I think he's got a wonderful set of team members alongside him to get to this project. So, I, of course, I don't want to look completely into the team. That being said, if you want to look into it and if you're interested, I recommend you go check out some of their projects and portfolios. I think that they've got a good, solid team here, and I think that they could deliver at least on uh, setting up this technical platform. That all being said, folks. Is it going to be the, the make or break moment for a decentralized exchange? Is it going to be better than SafeX or the other competitors? I can't say that right now. We're too early on in the process. And I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy on it. Um, I just want to be fair in saying that this isn't you know set to be a game changer yet. We've really got to see which one becomes adopted. That all being said, they've done a great job in the sense of U, uh, UI design, uh, in the sense of marketing, and uh, getting onto uh, Bitrix at such an early part of its life's, uh, life cycle. So I really think that there's some optimism around this. Now, let's talk about price action. Recently, we have been seeing a lot of these ICOs that have been kind of either just released or kind of pulling back, coming back to break their ICO highs with optimism coming in to the ICO market along with altcoins in general. That being said, do I think that this is a time to buy into it? Well, what I do like is for now, there's a very limited supply giving the tokens uh, around an $8 valuation. And I think that with its limited supply sitting here at um, 8.6 million, we could really see this start to chug up if there is some adoption or some media coverage around particles. So that being said, I'm definitely considering a trade uh, up to uh, at least test the highs here at particle or maybe waiting towards the highs and waiting to see if we can get an ICO breakout, much like an IPO breakout formation, which I'll cover in the future. Basically speaking, it's when it retests the highs. I'll go ahead and show you really simply. 
you pretty much buy when the highs of the ICO are retested. So that being said, folks, uh, I'm not putting a ton of money towards this, but I really would definitely consider doing a swing trade on it because I think it could be a good opportunity. Uh, and maybe it might be a good long-term hold if you really believe that this could be the game changer and beat out the competitors like SafeX, that might be a good option as well. So that all being said, folks, I want to hear what you all think in the comments below. Do you think this will be a game changer for the uh, decentralized private exchanges? Do you think that it'll beat out competitors like SafeX? Are you bullish or bearish? I'd love to hear down in the comments below. And if you've got another coin you want me to cover, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. So that all being said, folks, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.